quick recording about this uh, distance calculation, the distance matrix approach. So, uh, so what I've suggested here is just start a new web form project uh, just for namespace uh, simplicity. I'm going to call it that. So give me one second here. New project. And <laughs> I kind of had a little bit of fun joking about this, but I thought, well, probably the quickest, simplest example would just be to use web forms because, you know, you just stick the controls on the page and you're done, right? <laughs> I'll talk about why that maybe was an interesting example I should have uh, done something else with anyway. So I want to use the .NET framework. I'm going to call it Bing Map Distance, and away we go. Empty website, thank you very much. Nothing else in it. Jolly, jolly good. Just get that up. Okay, so here's my empty web form site. So I'm just going to go back and do what was suggested here in the Package Manager console. I'll just run this install package. Right, so just tools, package manager console. I could do it interactively, but it's just as easy to type the command, right? Especially when I can just copy and paste it. Ah, boo boo, what did I do? Oh, the PM. <laughs> of course, I don't need two PMs. See, it's too early in the AM for me to be doing this. There we go. Actually, it's not that early. All right, there we go. So let's just add a web form, a new web form. I guess that was right in the menu there, but oh well, web form, there we go. And I'm going to name it Bing Distance, just to match the uh, sample code that I have created. Okay, all right. Now, the reason I mentioned that uh, doing web forms turned out to be a bit of an extra challenge is web forms themselves, I mean, sure, you can stick buttons on them and so on and so forth, but I'll just, be, even before I bring the code in, uh, buttons click event, you think about it, it pretends to be like a Windows form application, but really it's still a web application. So what happens is it stores in the uh, data that gets eventually sent to the post the fact that you've clicked this event, right? And then later on when it's processing all the event stack uh, on the server, it notes that you clicked the button and does the code then. Bottom line is button click events don't like asynchronous, right? So in order to do that, we have to actually add async equals true false right true and that allows us to actually set it up so we can call asynchronous operations from our page right okay but i'm just actually going to replace the code from with what i have up here in blackboard so if i just bring that up here's my little copy paste code so here is what i'm putting in the actual form in the html here Right, so you can see that very, very simple design. I did not go to town on this one. I've got a start and end address. I just put some data in there so I don't have to type it every time. So this is Niagara College, and this is the high school near where I live in Port Colburn uh, Lakeshore, I guess it is. Anyway, a button to click for find distance and a label to show the actual distance. So that's all there is here, right? Okay, now in the code behind for this page, that's where it gets a little bit more interesting. So I'll just grab my code out of the uh, copy-paste file here. And we'll talk about it in place. So notice there's just one using I have to add in addition to the usings that, is, that are there, although there's some that aren't actually even used. <laughs> but I'll just go like this and see why I use the same name. Okay, so we're using our REST toolkit, right? That, I would have had to add that anyway. All right. And oh, it's because it doesn't see the async equals true up here. So let me just save everything. And I'll just do a quick build. Okay. Sorry, I am missing one other thing threading. Okay, using system threading tasks. Missed that one. There we go. Good old control period. Saves us every time. All right, so here's the little fun part then. I, you can't call something asynchronous, and all calls to the Bing Map service have to be asynchronous, so you can't do it straightforwardly in the click event. So that's why I had to add that one little bit in the page directive that async was true. And then here's a trick you can find online, but register async task, and then this will actually call an asynchronous operation from within your button's click event, right? So there we go. So all we're really doing here is we, instantiate a distance matrix request, right? 
building up all its properties. So you'll have to actually put your Bing Maps key here, right? The instructions on how to do that are up in Blackboard already to get your key. And then uh, you have to have a collections, right, of, of uh, simple waypoints for origins and for destinations. Now, you only have to, you have, to have one pair, but you know, you can do multiple ones, right, in one uh, matrix request. You could ask for five or 10 or 20 or whatever, right? Uh, but I'm just doing the one, so even though it's a collection, I'm instantiating a, a list here of simple waypoints, okay, just adding my one waypoint from my txt start, that's my text input dot text, and the same thing for the destination. So it's just going to be one distance measurement, but I still have to do it with collections. I'm setting my units to kilometers, and my travel mode to driving, uh, which is the default anyway, driving. Kilometers, I don't think is, but driving is the default, so I wouldn't have had to put that, but hey, it doesn't hurt to be clear. So that creates my uh, distance matrix request. So I just call its execute method, and I have to await that, and what I get back, this is out of the BIM, Bing Maps REST Toolkit, the response object, right? So we get the response, and it's a little tricky because there can be so many different types of responses, right? but it has a set of resource sets, right? So of course, because I'm only asking for one thing, it's naturally index zero. And then there are resources, again, index zero, right? And that gives me an actual resource object, okay? From again, their BIM, Bing Maps REST Toolkit uh, namespace, we have a resource object. Now that I have a handle on that, I can cast it as a distance matrix object. And then its results collection Okay, again, I only have uh, the zero index because I only have one result to come back. I can cast as a distance matrix cell. So obviously, if we were sending 10, right, 10 uh, uh, origins with 10 destinations, you know, each pairing of those would give us a new cell with results, right? But once I've finished all this casting, now I have a simple way, you know, let me just show you here if, if we go see... Uh, you want the IntelliSense to show up. C dot, right? So there's departure times. Of course, that only has uh, an effect if you've set uh, times and so on. Walk durations, total distance, total travel duration, and so on. So all the different uh, kinds of information we're looking for is here. All I really wanted, though, is the travel distance, right? So it's just showing the travel distance, okay? Two stringing it, uh, rounding it to one decimal place with N1, right? And the, it is in kilometers. So that's all we have to do, put my Bing Maps key there, and away we go. Uh, hang on one second, copy that in, I'll just give this a quick run here. And since I've already got data filled in, I can just click Find Distance, and there we go, 19.8 kilometers. And I think that's pretty accurate. Okay, just for comparison, I brought the same thing up just with good old uh, Google Maps, right? Starting from the college, going to that location came out at 19.7. You know, if you check Bing, it'll be around the same. But just be aware that these are never, like there's always a plus or minus factor to these. Uh, even, uh, of course, you can switch direction and that'll often change it too. But, uh, you know, whether you, one is, because you often find optimized routes and ooh, there's some traffic or something. Anyway, you get the idea. But it's pretty close and it shows you a simple way then to access the data and away you go. All right, hopefully that's a help.